People do ask where did Batley get its name from? Well, if you break it down, L-E-Y means field in Old English language. And it's believed to be that it was in this area where a Saxon noble called Bat, or Bata, B-A-T-A, -A, came and cleared part of the forest which used to be here to create a field where his followers used to live and where they used to grow food. And that became it, Bata's Lee. Put them together and it's Batley. It more certainly is not what some people think, seem to think, the Valley of the Bats. I've never seen a bat in Batley at any time. Fox's biscuits, not just in terms of the biscuits, but in terms of um, the vibrancy it gives uh, the town in terms of employment and also the employment and the sort of supply chain benefits. If, if, if Fox's go from here, that would be a, a real blow for the town because I don't think it could survive, you know, such a, um, such a business like that going. And at the end of the day, they provide quality biscuits, which has been going since 1853. So it's not as if it's like um, a new kid on the block. It's a, it's a renowned brand across the world. Best thing about Batley? I think we have a good harmonious uh, community relations, which I'm very proud of. Batley Park, there's a park which is, which is really lovely. It's that, uh, for both for children, bowling, tennis, football. It's uh, and they have a lovely museum. It's very nice, is that park. Well, it's not Jews, but that's a positive thing. <laughs> if it goes on, love, there won't be about like a sort of shop shutting down. Oh, don't put my foot <laughs> gas on there, love. Mm, no, I couldn't really. I couldn't change anything in Bat Bat Lane. Like, there's not to change, to be honest. Mm -hmm. uh, We've got a Tesco's that's open in Batley 24 hours. We've got a post office and, and it's, everything's fine, I think. Shops, a variety of shops. And I think that'll draw people more into Too town. Too many empty shops at the moment. I suppose mainly because of the, the rent being so high. And all these cuts that they're making won't help. I'd, I'd probably say young teenagers, it needs more things for them. Uh, maybe youth groups. Um, there's a lot that hang about, um, a lot that do get into trouble, but there's nothing for them. I think they need a lot of investment in the Batley Town Centre, especially the markets, because as a child I remember the Batley Market was quite uh, active. Unfortunately, now it's, an, it's really quite neat to invest in that and get people to shop in Batley. My mum and dad still live in Batley, and I wouldn't leave Batley for anything. And my, my kids go to the same school that me and my wife went. That's Powell, Powell Infants, Hurst Mount, and hopefully they might be going to Batley Eye or Howland Clough, but I wouldn't change it for anything. If I could change something about Batley, I can actually renew the whole street, because there's so much potential in Batley, but I don't know why, there's not enough money going in there. And uh, these big supermarkets, they're taking a lot of business away. So that's only one thing. I like Batley Park and Bagshaw Museum. Uh, I also like um, dancing in the frontier with my dancing show. I don't know, maybe Town Hall? Mm. That's, that's pretty good, impressive, old building. Mm. Well, I like the textile hall and the swimming baths and um, the library because it's a quiet place and you can just enjoy yourself. Well, it's the town next door to Dewsbury in the heavy woolen area. It's home, I've always lived here. I've always lived in Batley. And, uh, well, I, I, I was in the Navy for a while, but I uh, came back to Batley and feel quite comfortable here. Uh, it's very easy to park your car, you don't have to pay in Batley. 